So now I'm going to compare our current consolidation range here with the previous bottoming pattern. So just looking at that bear market low bottoming pattern here in early 2019, we can see we had that big drop off here. It was approximately a 50% drop here, similar to our current drop, which was around 50, 55%. And we can see initially we had a small bounce here and then we had this big drop to the actual bear market low it was a 29 percent drop we got a bounce which was a 35 percent bounce back up and then we had this slow grind down this was a 21 percent drop we came back up 26 percent then down 4.5 percent and then up 50 percent and carrying on even higher so this is the way this bottoming pattern worked out. We can see these volatile moves in this range and just want to compare it to the current bottoming pattern. So the current bottoming pattern here, we dropped 50% here, approximately 60 to 30,000. And you can see we dropped all the way down, had a bounce, and then we dropped 28%. We had a bounce around 31% and had this grind down here to a new low, which was a 24% drop, had this bounce back up, 23% bounce. And if we were to play out similar to that 2018 bottom there, perhaps we're gonna have one more drop here, approximately a 13% drop. And then we take off and try to go higher, similar to that bottoming pattern that I just showed you. But I think they are quite similar and it's interesting to compare them. And just to show you that side by side, we can see the 2019 bottoming pattern here on top and the current pattern below. So we see 29% drop. This one was 28%. We saw 35% bounce. This one was 31%. This grind down was 21% drop. This one was a 23% drop. Then we saw a 26% bounce. And here we saw a 23% bounce currently. And if we were to do a similar thing here, we might have a similar pullback and then go higher. Now I just want to quickly compare 2013 to the current cycle. And I have done this in previous videos, but this is looking at the line chart instead of the candles and the line chart gets rid of those wicks. So just a different way to look at it. And I've just got the 2013 bull run here. And I've also got this Fibonacci extension tool. Uh, this isn't showing all the data here, but the 2011 high here was at $32. So I do have that plotted with the Fib extension tool. We can see we ran up here. We came to the 1.618 extension on the line chart. And we had this big pullback and we stayed above the 1.272 level. And then we carried on higher ending up peaking out at the 2.272 level. So just want to compare that to the current cycle. So just putting these side by side here on the left, the 2013 cycle on the line chart. Again, it's doing the Fib extension from the previous bull market high to the bear market low. And what we can see here is once we got above this golden pocket area, that's when the bull run really started. We came all the way up to the 1.618 extension, had this big pullback, didn't quite get to the 1.272, and then carried on higher for the rest of the bull run and came pretty much exactly to this 2.272 level. So this is the current cycle on the right. We've got the same Fib extension, the previous bull market high here to the bear market low. We can see once we got above this golden pocket area here, this is where the bull run really started. We didn't have much pullback. Looking at the line chart here, we came all the way up to the 1.618 extension, similar to 2013. And now we've had this big pullback here, not quite to the 1.272 level, similar to 2013. So these do look very similar here. And I do think we'll go on a run here and finish off this bull run and come up to this 2.272 level and this is the line chart so it's only using the bodies of the candles and not showing the wicks so we go higher to that 2.414 level with a wick but this is where the bodies of the candles might end up and that is around the 190,000 level it's just interesting to compare how similar these are 
fact, if we were to overlap the 2013 run here onto the current cycle, it would look like this. So we see a very similar thing here. We ran up after the golden pocket area, no pullbacks really, and then we had this big pullback down, and then I think we'll carry on higher, perhaps go to these levels that I spoke about, and this is looking at it as a whole picture here, just to show how similar they are. And one last chart here, this is on the log chart on the weekly time scale, and we do have this trend line here coming in from the stock market crash here, the pullback around October area. It does line up with this pullback here. And currently we haven't closed a body of a candle below this trend line. We also see that golden pocket area that we did bounce from. But I also want to point out one other thing here when comparing this to the 2013 cycle. First of all, I want to look at the RSI here and taking the Fib retracement tool. And we can see this is the 2013 bull run here. And this is where we had that big pullback that we compared the current pullback to. And what we can see on the RSI, taking it from the low to the high, you can see that we pulled back here to the 786 level. And then we bounced and continued the rest of the bull run. And if we look at the current cycle here, this is the bear market low, taking the Fib retracement tool here from the low to the high. You can see that we also pulled back approximately to this 0.786 level. So something very similar there. And I do expect a similar thing to happen here where we continue higher. And it looks like we went above the golden pocket area and then came back used it as support. And then we carried on higher. So we'd like to see Bitcoin come back up here on the weekly RSI above the golden pocket area. Maybe use it as support and finish off the explosive end part of this bull run. Another thing I want to compare here is looking at market cipher. And what we can see here, this is the pullback that we're comparing. You can see on the weekly here on market cipher, we got that red dot, had that big pullback. And the weekly came all the way down till we got this green dot here just below the zero line and then we carried on higher and just looking at the current cycle here we topped out here with the red dot here we did go slightly higher and we've had this big pullback still looking for that green dot here on the weekly on market cipher and it looks like we might do a similar thing here once we do get that green dot so just looking at that a bit more closer we can see this big pullback here. Once we did get that green dot on the weekly, it pretty much signified that we didn't go lower again on any other weekly candles. And we did carry on higher for the rest of the bull run. And comparing it to currently, we can see we haven't quite made that green dot yet. We will open a new weekly candle in a couple of days. Although this might take a couple of weeks, I think, before we do see that green dot. And when we do get that green dot, I think after that we won't see any candles close below on the weekly. Just a, another thing to watch out for and an interesting comparison between the two cycles. And quickly on Market Cipher, we have that green dot on the four day still. Although there's a couple more days before the new four day candle opens. So we'll have to see if we hold that green dot. Five day chart doesn't have a green dot yet. And the next candle will open on the 15th of June. So we'll be looking to see a green dot there. And then hopefully that will lead to that weekly green dot. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. In the short term, we'll have to watch this triangle pattern playing out. Hopefully we get a break to the upside. If we do get a break to the downside, again, I'll be looking for possibly coming to this golden pocket area around 33.8, 33.6. And currently I do have a trade I got in on this pullback and I'll be looking to add more at the 0.5 level and also this golden pocket area. And I do expect a bounce here and then another try to break out of the larger triangle pattern that we're in. So thanks for watching. Hope that was enjoyable. And on Bitcoin Mamo. And I'll see you next time. Bye.